What catamaran asks, What kind of things will kill you in Korea? In the US, we have rattlesnakes, brown recluse spiders, crocodiles and alligators, tornadoes, hurricanes, dust storms, and blizzards. What do you have to be wary of there? It sounds kind of scary to live in the US. I know, <laughs> like the way that you describe it makes me fear for my life. Now, the one thing we're worried about is that we're gonna mention some things that can kill you here. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that you have to be very afraid of it because some of these situations are rather rare, but possible. And I also feel like they've never happened to us because we kind of live in the city, but. Except Except the one thing that you should be afraid of in Korea that can kill you and will mess you up, taxi drivers. Oh, yes, yes. They don't mess around. A significant portion yeah. of our friends have been hit by taxis. And they're walking on walking. their bicycles, on their actual motorcycles, yep. and all of them were actually, the taxis were in the wrong. Uh -huh. It wasn't like them doing something illegal. No. They sing K-pop videos about it. We need to do like, world's deadliest creatures Korea, where we're like lying in the bushes, crawling, and like Korean videotaping taxi, taxi drivers. drivers. On to the less aggressive animals. Imagine this, oh. you're enjoying a calm, peaceful outing in Jeju-do or oh. Busan with the ocean splashing and it's going so out on a, a boat. It's so beautiful, isn't it? It's so relaxing, wow, except that. for that man-sized jellyfish! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, man-sized jellyfish. These things get to like two meters. I'm huge, but I'm 195 centimeters. This thing's bigger than me. It's called the Nomura jellyfish. Actually, it's called the Nomura's jellyfish. It's not Wingardium Leviosa, it's Wingardium Leviosa. It's not pronounced Gangnam, it's pronounced that's Gangnam! I'm trolling you guys. Mm -hmm. So this thing freaks the hell out of us because we had friends in Yosuo at the time when they had the big expo, the Yosuo yeah. Expo, like a year or two ago. And we're like, yeah, let's come down to visit. Like, we heard you had nice beaches. And they said, yeah, the beaches are nice, except they've got these gigantic jellyfish that kind of make it unable for you. And I'm like, hey, I don't even want to come anywhere we're close. We're just gonna backwards you shuffle our way out. The ocean is a scary pit of death. That's probably the only okay. thing that I'm actually scared of. Like, I'll still go in the ocean, but I'll mm. go in the ocean wearing those jelly shoes for the water uh -huh. and, I, and I'm in the ocean like this the whole time. Yeah. I, I'm in like I got I got my pepper mode. spray just in case anything <laughs> comes at me. That's what the, surfers need in Australia. The ocean is terrifying. Yes. Okay. I don't know how you guys do it because in Australia you hear about like the areas that are known as like shark reef attack zone and people are like I'll risk my chance swimming this week. Like for me I know it doesn't happen all the time and this is one of those generalizations that happens to people living in Australia like yeah. this <laughs> giant spiders that would kill you and this cockroach is the size it, of a it man. Does, it doesn't actually it doesn't affect a lot of people, but it's still freaking terrifying. Yeah, so the giant jellyfish scare me. It's not like they try to eat you. Well, that we know of. That we know of. Mm -hmm. But they have been cases of people being stung by jellyfish, and I'm pretty sure a little eight-year-old girl in Korea died, actually. Yes, of jellyfish sting. Fact, stay out of the water. <laughs> Thing number two in Korea that will kill you. Say that you want to stay away from the beach because you're afraid of the jellyfish. Mm -hmm. So you go into the middle of the woods because you're thinking, I'm as far from these gigantic jellyfish as possible. Mm -hmm. Hark, what's that there rustling in the bushes? Is that a cute puppy? Or is that a wild boar? Yes, the methwedgie. <laughs> uh, apparently they attack people in the cities as well. And yes, sorry, you're not safe, Simon. Okay, <laughs> I, I just want to say, we've never seen a wild no, boar in the, the cities here, not okay? Not Seoul. I'm seeing like, they've been coming out of the woods lately and they've been mm -hmm. like heading over. It's kind of like bears. You hear about bears in Canada, right. like attacking people in towns and people yeah. are like, there must be bears all over Canada. Okay. We're talking about towns in the middle of the woods. And it was actually in a very famous Korean drama, which you did not watch, but I'm gonna sing you the song and see if you know the drama. Ready? Three, two, I will promise you some bad and 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 bad this is Somebody's like, bitches? No, that wasn't even in the song. Okay, it's about a girl who pretends to be a guy, which is not narrowing the sound for you. And Every she, Korean drama! <laughs> right, 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 and she joins a band, and she pretends to be the male singer in a band, but she's actually a nun. Or practicing to be a nun. Is this legitimately passed as a plot in a Korean drama? Yes! It was a good one. She had a twin brother, that's why. What we're trying to talk about here is wild freaking boar okay, that kill people, from, not dramas. It's from You Are Beautiful. Okay. That's what it was from. So in You Are Beautiful, there's like this wild boar infestation that goes around killing what? all the K-pop fans. <laughs> what are you fans. talking about? Okay, no. What happened was Young, who was in the TV show, he goes to the wilderness and he's like, wow, it's so relaxing here. Everything's so great. It's not Young, it's Young. A wild boar chases him in the woods. He runs away screaming and he's very upset. And that's the whole thing. And we're done talking about wild boars. Wild boars can mess 
you up. They got bandanas and everything. They're like, you came to the wrong hood, mother. Situation number three. You're scared of the jellyfish in the water and you're scared of the boar in the ground. So you put a jetpack on yourself so you could hover above all these things and not be affected. Good plan. But you're still going through the woods, the beautiful woods and trees. And then you hear the faint buzzing in the distance. What's that? It's coming to kill you. It's a giant Asian wasp. I'm pretty sure it's a hornet. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Oh, no. Lost I don't know the difference. They are oh not. Oh my god, you're oh my god. Right 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 the Malmoor, which has the coolest name ever. Seriously, it sounds like Balrog from like Lord of the Rings. Like, the giant Malmoor is coming to attack us. I can only think of Malboro from Final Fantasy, that giant like thing with the tentacles all around his face. I thought that was a cigarette. Gas. No, Malboro. The, 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 well, that's, it sounds like that too. Mm. But I think Final Fantasy instead of Cancer Sticks. Well, I wasn't thinking Cancer Sticks. I was thinking Lord of the Rings, which is much cooler. Anyways. Final Fantasy is better than Lord of the Rings. <gasps> Come at me, bro! I scared! Okay, well, let me give you a, a quick description of what it's like to watch you play Final Fantasy. Friends! Friendship! Uh... Friends and friendship! I miss snow! Snow lightning and my friends and friendship! Five minutes of actual battle. Cut sequences. <laughs> Playing Final Fantasy 13 2 at the moment. I hate you, Popo, -po, and then you throw him as far as you can. What were we talking about again? Malvo! Um, these are giant wasps. Hornets? Yes, I was testing you and you fell for it again. No, you actually stuttered. No, yeah. I looked at you. Here's a cigarette lighter, and here is the size of these hornets. They're friggin' huge. If you look it up online and then just be horrified at all the images. There's that come actually up. a Korean movie that was based off of these things called oh, Chow. Yes. And it's I haven't seen yeah, it, I but seen Susie it. told us about it. Yeah. And but it's supposed but, to be like an action comedy horror yeah. about these giant mm. wasp monster mm. thingies. But and it's not something that's like made up, not like Sharknado that you have to be afraid of. Like the this. <laughs> what do you mean? Shark is not real. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Anyhow, hornets will kill you, man. Okay, well you can deadly. No, look. Okay, so normally they don't really reside in the city. As usual, it's like the countryside's always horrifying. Mm -hmm. And what I read about is that they don't usually interact with humans, but when people will go back to the grave sites for like two seconds on to like clean off the graves or visit, maybe mm -hmm. a giant wasp nest has been made. Hornets. And then they're like, what's this? We should clean it. And then they hit it, and then they're like, and they rip all the flesh off your body. I don't think that's how they work. They're probably just stink people, but they're really scary and large and big, and I don't like them. Scenario number four. You just watched a TLDR on the world's most deadliest creatures hanging out in the Korean countryside, and you said to yourself, screw Mother Nature, I'm gonna go hang out in a safe, safe city. You sit down for some nice samgapsal, and you're grilling, and everything's fine, and then on the TV in the distance comes on a TV show about the world's deadliest way to die from things you didn't expect you could die from in Korea. Many times when we go to restaurants, they play this TV show that shows you the weird things that you could die from in Korea. Which isn't really the food. Like, I don't want to yeah. eat food and watch this TV show at the same time. Like, they, they had this one in which like, a guy ate some kimchi and then he drank milk and he died from the kimchi yeah. milk combination. And they, they show him dying and uh -huh. then they're like, did he die from this? And they show you like a scenario of how he died. And, and they're like, they did he die like from this? Doctors. And they show like the inside of the body and yeah. like where things went terribly uh -huh. wrong. And I'm like, I really don't want to And watch some of this. the some of the causes that people die from is bizarre like there's this one old lady that whenever she flushed her toilet after curling out a dookie she wouldn't put the seat down mm -hmm. and what we're supposed to be told is that you're supposed to put the seat down because every time you flush then all the particles come up into the air which so is that, a scientific term by the way yes the the, the particles. Fart particles particles so the, the lid prevents them from going out because it's airtight mm -hmm. anyhow she kept on flushing for many years with all these dookies and particles like going everywhere and they spread all around the bathroom onto her like contact lenses and her toothbrush and she got an eye infection from the particles but her eye infection almost killed her because supposedly it was a really bad like mm -hmm. she got sicker and sicker and sicker but she didn't die from it in the end one guy ripped out his nose hairs and it became an infection that he got meningitis yes. from and died yes but i think you can just get an infection from from many things many not just ripping things. out your nose hairs and my favorite one that we ever saw was that grandfather who mm -hmm. went to sleep in bed and then his grandson comes in the room and jumps on the bed and doesn't jump on the bed to wake up the grandfather or he actually physically jumped on his grandfather to wake him up. Leading cause of death in senior citizens, asshole kids. Jumping on <laughs> yeah, grandfather's yeah. chest. No, but what's funny about it was that that wasn't even the highlight of the show. They're like, the grandfather gets up and then he gets pain and then he dies. They're like, how did the grandfather die? I'm like, are you going to rewind the fact that you just raised your kid to jump on somebody? That's Who raised their kids kid. to teach him how to jump on people? Is this Super Mario? I don't know. Was, that was a funny joke. I was, I was going <laughs> to... Yes. Phase that one out. We're going to talk about a couple more causes of 
of death in our blog post. Make sure you click on the link here if you want to learn how to die. Mm -hmm. And oh my, <laughs> and if you guys have had any experiences with this in Korea, I'm especially curious because a lot of people do live in the countryside. Please let us know if you've seen these magical boars or if you've seen these jellyfish or if you've come in contact with those horrifying giant wasps. Also, if you've seen man bear pigs. They're hornets and you didn't, oh, so grumpy. That's it for this week's TLDR. If you have a question for next TLDR, leave your question in the comment section below. Or check out the questions already asked and you can thumb them up to bring them to our attention. And don't forget to subscribe for more TLDRs where we teach you about ways to live in Korea yes. rather than die. If you want to learn how to live in Korea, you should avoid hanging out with sausings because that's one of the deadliest ways to die. Oh, girls be crazy. Be crazy, son.